Hey, what's up everyone? Sly here with Flo. Flo, man, let's talk about it. Jen York accusations of insider trading. Uh, we heard about this before with Martha Stewart. Remember, she got like a year in prison. But what do you think about this, man? If he is uh, found guilty, do you think that he's, him and his family have to be forced to sell the team, kind of like Eddie D? Or do you think this is going to be uh, no big deal and just move on with things? Yeah, right now it's just accusations, yeah. so we can't jump to conclusions. But if it is true, make that little weasel sell this team, mm -hmm. man. I could kind of see him doing it, though, because this guy, he's all about money. That's all he cares about. Obviously, we've seen it the last two uh, off-seasons with these training camps. He started charging the fans. He pretty much does whatever he wants. Also, the parking, man, the freaking parking for our stadium, all four lots, man. You essentially have to pay pretty solid money for them. So this guy's always nickel and diming the fans. And so I can see him trying to do some insider trading and make a few more bucks on the side. What do you think, Sly? Yeah, man. Honestly, I'm, I wasn't shocked because there's other stories about him like trying to buy out politicians and all this other crap. So I've never been a fan of him ever since the whole uh, Harbaugh situation. And I think it was like during Thanksgiving where he like tweeted out like, what the fuck? He tweeted out about the players and then the coach. It's like, bro, how unclassy is that? And then when he got rid of them, I was like, hell no. But what really did it to me was when he was talking about moving to Florida. That part pissed the shit out of me. I can't believe there's still Jed York fanboys out there. The fact is we haven't won shit. Zero Super Bowls since these guys have taken over. So um, I'm not a fan. And if he does have to sell the team, man, I'll be happy. Because honestly, this guy, piece of shit, man. The fact that we they're charging money to go to training camp and then they're uh, putting that reselling on Ticketmaster and uh, StubHub, all these other places for like $170, man, absolutely a joke. So um, these are allegations of the beat, so we can't really say it's true, but if they are true, man, get his ass out, man. I know Ramilio, man, he was on Twitter, he was laughing about it. The thing about Ramilio though, he's a fan, but he loves, no matter what, Rams can do no wrong. Us, on the other hand, if the Niners players or if the owner gets out of line, we're gonna say it, man. We don't give a care. These guys all don't pay our salary, so you know we don't give a damn about that. But yeah, anything else? Nah, that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, but so let us know what you guys think about this, man. If this guy Jed York, I know he's not officially the owner, but come on, his parents are old. They'll be gone soon. He's gonna take over. So what do you think? What do you think if he should be able to sell the team? But hey, man, first of all, I'll say this. Eddie D, at least he won Super Bowls. And they kind of set up Eddie D, man. They set up Eddie D. We all know the story about that in the 90s, man. It was all a setup. So, and this guy was a winner. Jed York ain't a winner. So, come on, man. Let's be real. Yeah, it was also because Eddie D, he, he wanted to pay his players. How many times have we lost good players because this cheap ass doesn't want to pay them? They end up jumping ship. And he's like, oh, let's get draft picks and make our caps cheaper. That guy's a freaking scumbag, though. Yeah, but that's what we got, man. Let's know what you guys think about this whole situation. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.